What's up traders, Keon here. We're gonna go over our trading alerts from today's trading session. And we're also gonna create our watch list for Casino Friday. Now, before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe and like button so we can keep pushing out content. And if you haven't already, feel free to join our Discord absolutely free for seven days. If you don't like it, don't worry about it. Keep the money that you made. Now let's get started. All right, let's show our Discord channel to the whole world. All right, let's start with Elkin Alerts. We had a SPY 446 put at $1.88. He sold four out of six at 205, sold his last one at 2.3. This guy is the Venezuelan hammer of SPY. He will not miss. So that was a great first trade to start the morning, 6.42 a.m. What do I have? I had an Affirm 115 call for $1.90. We sold some at 230, sold three more at 247. Unfortunately, my last contract stopped at a 210 before it ran up all the way to $5 per contract. So this was over 150% play. Congrats to anyone who diamond handed it. There has been a lot of paper handed trades lately, but it's okay. Profits are profits. We can never be mad about that. Eva had two alerts. One was a swing and one was a day trade. She had a UPST swing that was a 400 call for 1015 that she bought for a dollar 60 and she sold wow, she sold her runners for 43%. So a dollar 60 to 235. That's great. You know, you wake up and you make money. Can't complain. She also had an Amazon 3500 call, 917 expiration, 445 premium. This contract actually ran all the way to 940 a contract. I remember watching the premiums this morning, but she still sold that at a great price at around $7. So 445 to $7 on one contract. A killer play. And the last trade that we made. It was a swing and I was a lot of, oh, I'm sorry, two trades actually, as a matter of fact, FIVN and TMC. FIVN was a 175 call, $5 premium, 1015 expiration. We sold some this morning at 560 and then sold a couple more at 630. So an average of $130 per contract. So that was a really good play. TMC was a great play. We had a 10 call, $1.67 a contract for December 17th expiration. Short squeeze trade, meme stock trade, whatever. We sold some at 190, sold another one at 230. We sold, I sold the last one at 3.3. So $1.60 to 3.3 profits is pretty damn good, right? I know there's a lot more people who are holding it. That's great. The premium is actually over four, I believe. So, what I can tell you guys now is that we absolutely killed it these past couple days. Now, Casino Friday watch list begins. And I am looking at Asan, Affirm, AMAT. We call it Azamat, but it's a running joke. So AMAT and Amazon. So those four. Now let's get started. Let's have some fun here. All right. So let's put, pull up AMAT. AMAT has hit an all-time high of 144.63. So what can we do for AMAT? Just kidding. Applied materials, AMAT. So a break above 144.63 above all-time highs, right? So blue skies ahead, right? As blue as my shirt. You know, that's a very easy resistance to use. Now, support. We do have a previous resistance right here, right? At 7.30 a.m. today. So that's 143.31 or 133, 143.28, give or take, right? Now, below 143.28, where is the next support? It's around 141.81. And you know what we can do? Let's do this. Let's go to edit properties. Let's change our profit target to a different color. Like, let's do purple. That's perfect. So this is gonna be our profit target. Now, where would our profit target for 
A mat B again, it actually did not hit all time high yet. This was the high. So 145 34, if I'm not mistaken, right? Well, 146. Okay, so it hit 146. My apologies. So let's remove that one. And so our first target is going to be 146 if it breaks today is high. So that's going to be a great target to have. Right? So what do we got for, so remember, 15-minute time frame? A break above 144.64. We got 146 for our target. And again, you can take profits along the way. You don't have to wait for AMAT to hit 146. Below 143.28, look for 141.81 as your first profit target for AMAT if you're buying puts. So that is AMAT. Should we check the flow? Let's check the flow. Do I need to say sponsored by for this video? Well, the flow is sponsored by. We're not really sponsored, but we are using their platform. It's Unusual Whales. All right, AMAT, we got 12.8 million calls to 4.8 premium of puts. Bullish, bearish flow came in last minute. Friday lotto, it's going to be fun. We don't really care about flow right now, but we know that there's 12.8 million call flow to 4.8 premium put flow. That is AMAT. Now let's do Amazon. What a killer trade Eva had for Amazon today. Let's get rid of these drawings. All right, so what do we got? We got a resistance of 34.92, correct? Correct. So below, we ended at 34.81.57. That was below this candle. So we closed at 34.85, give or take. But Amazon is going to be a pretty wild mover. We do have a resistance here. We have some resistance here. So I think this is a great spot for a previous support. So below 34.77, we could see a previous support at this resistance, I should say, at 34.69. So we're going to change this to purple. So that's going to be our target, right? So below... 34.77, look for 34.69. Above 34.92.65, we can see where's our next resistance. It's around here. So 35. Amazon really likes round numbers. So let's do 3,500, which is this resistance right here. So that's going to be our next target. Let's do purple for this, right? So above 34.92. Look for 3501 above 3501, 3508, but you know, Amazon premiums will be juiced up. So never be afraid to take profits. That is Amazon. Let's check the flow on Amazon. Four hundred seventy two point four million calls to three hundred seventy eight point two million puts. Okay, so more calls than puts. But again, tomorrow, zero DTE, you know, we're just getting a quick in and out trade. Flow right now is not going to really matter unless someone is swinging a contract as we speak. Um, if you have calls, well, you can see that there's more call premium than put premium. So that is Amazon's flow. Let's go to Affirm, a trade that we did today. And I will show you exactly what we did today. So for today's trade, what did I see to enter a firm? We had a resistance above 114.74. As you can see, once it broke this resistance, ran up, right? Pushed up very nicely. Now, what do we got now, though? It rejected 119.79, correct? 119.79 is going to be our resistance for tomorrow. Below this, right? So if we reject at 119.79, there is a support here at 116.26, right? This wick right here. 
okay? So below 116.23, we're gonna use our old resistance, right? At 114.74, below that, where is our previous resistance, which is around 112.77. So this is gonna be your first target if we go below, actually as a matter of fact, this will be our second target. Below 116.23, you can see 114.74, Right above 119.79, where are we going with this? If this has volume, not one minute, let's go to one hour. If this has volume, let's do 122.57 first. Right, this was pre market Monday. Let's do 122.46 first target. Above 119.79, 122.46. Above that, you got major resistance here, right? 124.49. So that's going to be your next target. Yep, sounds good. That looks good. That looks good. 119.79. Above that, 122.46. Above that, 124.49. Again, great volume. 17.4 million, 229% above its average. This is for sure going to be our stock to trade tomorrow. Let's hope it, the volume stays the same. Let's check the flow. Seventy-seven point four million calls to eleven million premium of puts. End of day, nice. Eh. Small, you know, call call flow coming in, but we can see more calls than puts. Let's just hope this volume sticks around, and this will be one of the trades that we will execute if it hits our levels, regardless if it's a call or a put. We make money on both sides. And last but not least, we are going to do a son. A son was a ripper, and look at that. But actually. After hours 119.31. But what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to delete all these drawings. A high of 119.99. That is all-time highs. I'm very disappointed in Hassan. I alerted this stock at $37 per share. I paper-handed it. Probably sold around $50. And now look. It's at 119. But hey, it's all right. It's all right. What can you do about it? So anyway, we got a support at 116.96. As you can see, it bounced here, riding nicely above the 8 EMA. So above 119.99, it's blue skies, right? Blue skies, you know, take profits as you go. Below 116.96, you got 114.47 as your first target on your puts. So you can look for that. Below 114.47, Look for 110. Again, this was another stock that had great volume, 7.9 million, 380% above its average. So this stock, again, if we can get this volume tomorrow, we are gonna take advantage of this. And thanks to our unusual option activity software, we did see that there's a lot of call flow coming in with over 70% confidence from our AI. Thank you, Trady Ticks. All right, now let's check the flow. I think Casino Friday is going to be fun. Look at this flow at the end of the day. All call flow. So we got 26.2 million to call premium to 5.5 million put premium. Bullish. I mean, think about it. If you go to the daily chart, this thing has just been a nonstop ripper, right? It's been riding along the 8, riding along the 21. Very nicely this is a dream stock to have all right lotto friday casino friday we're ready to go feel free to join our discord absolutely free for seven days you'll get all our trades all the channels unlocked if you don't like us it's not a problem keep all the money that you made from us hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you soon thanks guys